What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we're answering the question of how to create an instance of a class in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So to create an instance of a class in Python, essentially I'm gonna take this class that was used in a previous video. Um, this is our employee class, which takes in a name, a title, and a wage. And then we just do something really, we just created a method that allows you to essentially just calculate um, the income earned after X amount of um, hours worked. So this is the class that we're gonna start with, and now how do we create an instance of this? And that's what we're gonna do right now. So creating an instance of this employee class is as simple as t giving it a variable. So we're gonna say, let's just say employee, um, employee one. And that's gonna say equal to, now give it the object employee, and now we need to instantiate, is, instantiate or initialize this with um, the information that is needed. So we need a name, we'll just say, John Smith, and we'll say the title is a dev, and then the wage is say, um, we'll just say there, that's the wage, 100,000. Now we can go and we can print this out. I can say print employee one, and I can say dot name, and it should print out John Smith. So if we run this, we say Python, and then, there it is, John Smith. Now if we wanna know, say the title, we can just say the title, and if we want to print out the wage, we can do the wage. If we run this, we get John Smith dev 100,000. Now, what happens, so that's creating an instance, a single instance, which is basically a unique um, instance as far as like what you want the data to hold, right? So what if we did an employee number two, and we say this is Jane Smith, boss and 150k now you'll see if i were to go and print this out and i'll just do this trick um and i i say let's do this so we're gonna do string here and we're gonna say employee underscore actually here's a nice trick that everyone should know so we can do an f string and we can do colons and then we can do this equal i think this is in python oops i needed the Give this a call at the end of the, there we go. So now if we run this, what this should do is print out employee1.name equals and then the value. So when I run this, you'll see down below, we'll see employee name is John Smith, employee one title is dev, employee one wage 100. That's the that's what we saw initially. Now we have employee two, name is Jane Smith, employee two is title is boss and then 150K. So right right there, the instance is basically, we just give the variable, give the ob, give the, the class with its instantiated with the information that it needs to be instantiated with. And then right there, you have an instance um, that you can use to go and do whatever you need to in Python. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the, the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them and or make further videos helping to explain the questions that you have. So until next time, keep on programming.